So, hey, this is how we became Gentiles, man. You know, wicked Israelites selling out to the ordinance and the customs of, of the heathen, okay? This is how we became Gentiles, man. So when we we were in Israel, when we had to flee Roman persecution, you know, we knew we were Israelites. Then Esau came over along with the Arabs and the uh, Hamites and took us into captivity, came over, Hey, and beat the hairs, right? He beat and you. It said in Jeremiah 17, this 17 and uh, what? Four. Jeremiah 17 and four. Jeremiah 17 and four. If thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage that I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemy in a land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger, which shall burn forever. So yeah, hey, Israel pissed off the heavenly father, Yahweh Shai, man. So he said, I'm going to discontinue from your heritage that was gave to you, and I'm going to turn you over to the enemies, man. And that's what he did. You know? So Esau, man, hey, beat, beat, they beat the, uh, <laughs> they beat all the knowledge right out of us, man. So we had kids, you know, they would separate the families, beat the man, and then they would push their doctrine. So as, as, as the generations grew up and grew up, you begin to take on the customs of, of, of the heathen. So that made us what? Gentiles, man. All right? We wouldn't follow the customs of the Israelite customs of the Bible. Okay? Until we came back, man. In this particular time, the Lord has certain men get the understanding. Okay? With the Lord say he left his goods. When he went back to the far country, when he went back to the spirit world, he left his goods, which was his knowledge and his wisdom. And his understanding that he left through the comforter, which is the scriptures. He told you in, in John 14 and 26, I'm going to leave, leave you the comforter. Okay? So he didn't leave us comforted. He left us the words to go by. This will bring us back into our nationality and who we are. And we repent. So therefore, we were Gentiles as well. That's the Gentiles that's talked about. Because two-thirds of our own people are still in that mind, that mind state of believing in whatever America got to, got to put forth. They believe in the philosophers of Esau. So therefore, they still Gentiles. Okay? He say he's coming for, this, for, for them as well. Because it tells you in Romans 11 and 27, all Israel going to be saved, man. Those of them Gentiles is talking about. Because he's still going to have to kill off the kill off Jake and them who ain't came back under the law of statute commandments and got faith. He's still going to kill them off, but but they're gonna be reborn back into the kingdom, and they're gonna they're gonna be uh, uh, Israel, Israel again. That's why I say all Israel gonna be saved, man. Okay. There's an Israel who are not Israel. Okay. You got you got two thirds, man. And you got the elect, and that's what it's about in this time. The elect men of Israel, man, is waking up. The 144,000, the one third, the 100, which 144,000 in that one third. Okay? You're going to have a lot more people wake up too, man. But the situation has to get rough and rough. As long as the situation is comfortable, these people are asleep, man. Romans 11, 13 and 11 says this. Romans 13 and 11. Romans 13 and 11 says what? And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. It's time to wake up out of that spiritual sleep that you're in. Knowing the time, man, we see Esau pushing the pestilence out here, okay? Donald Trump then told you he finna kill another 100,000 people. So you know the time, you see, they finna, they already telling, uh, they already saying that uh, the troops are gonna be coming back from over on the other side. So if they're gonna be bringing troops from the other side here, then what, what are they bringing them for? Okay? We know the time, man, we see it. The wars and the rumors of wars, we see we see the, uh, the Yahweh Shai and the chariot sightings, we see it. We see the chariot sightings, right? They, they seen it, that's why they moving so fast. They saw the chariot ship outside of uh, uh, the galaxy coming towards this way, man, okay? All right. 
It says, now it's high time to wake out of sleep for now our salvation is nearer than when we believe. The salvation, the Greek word satiria, meaning what? Deliverance from my enemies, man. Okay, so that time where the Lord is coming back to deliver us from the enemies, man, is, is near. It's right here. It's time for him to come back and separate this thing, man. Uh, the separation about to take place. Uh, he about to separate. He about to separate the sheep from the goats, as it's spoken of in the scriptures, man. And I'm gonna show you. This is uh, Matthew, Matthew 25 and 31. It says, "When the Son of Man shall come in His glory." Right? The Son of Man, Yahweh Shai, right? The artist rendition. Once again, when he come in his glory, he's gonna come in the chariots. That's his glory. The chariots, man, and them in in his mighty angels. Right? That's his glory. That's how he's coming back. It tells you at when he was with the disciples, when he when he was speaking with them, and he got he got transfigured up when he disappeared. And they stand there gazing, what did the two angels say? The same way you saw him left is the same manner he gonna come back. If you saw him left in the chariot, he coming back in the chariot, okay? And it says, when the Son of Man shall come in his glory and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory, okay? Because he told the disciples in Matthew 29, when he come back, y'all gonna be on this throne with me what, judge of the 12 tribes of Israel, okay? All right? So if you sit with him, if you basically sit with him, that means you're gonna be you're gonna be rewarded for what, a good deed if you sit with him on them thrones, right? You're gonna be rewarded. Or you'll have been rewarded for a good deed. Uh, Matthew 26, 15 and 27. For the Son of Man shall come in glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. So he's gonna reward every man according to his works, man. Okay? It's gonna be a reward. So this is the reason why we come out, we keep coming out, we keep doing the work of the Lord, okay? We trying to, we trying to, the talent that he gave, the five talents, the two talents, he gave one man one talent. Whatever talent the Lord give you, man, you, you constantly try to uh, make a profit with the talent that he gave you, okay? Like I said, you, you come out cheerfully. We come out cheerfully, and we come out bold, bold, man. Boldly, man. With confidence, we come out here until it's time to uh, uh, stop, okay? Like I said, certain brothers, they, they, they doing inside shows now because of the situation in New York and around. They, they off the streets, man, in L.A. and in Texas. But, you know, right here, we still able, I'm still able to come out until that time comes. So I'm going to keep trying to uh, to uh, double, my, double my talent that the Lord gave me my, my, with my uh, servile ability, man, with my individual ability that he gave me. Just trying to make a profit. Because when he come back, shoot, he want to come back. Uh... When he come back, man, he want to see us uh, uh, being in, 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 in basically what, what is called faith, man. You know? Uh, I go back to where I was at. I was in Matthew 25. It says, now, like I said, this is 16. Then he that had received the five talents went and traded with the same and made them other five talents. And likewise, he that had received two also gained. So these men, they're coming out doing the work. Okay, doing the work of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Like I said, when the Lord come back, he's going to come back with a reward. What he said in Matthew 16. So we want to be found with all faith when he come back, man. You know, we don't want to be found slacking, being a two-third. You don't want to be found not doing the work. You want to be found doing the work. And the Lord is right here at the, it's right here at the door, man. The prophecies are uh, uh, unfolded. Okay? It says, but he that had received one 
went and digged in the earth and hid the money, right? And it says, um, it says he had hid the money, so they, they didn't do the work, like I was saying earlier.